I have been told to make a slide on the plants. So I have ended up doing this slide. I just copy one image from the internet and put some three or four options. So instead of doing a basic slide, something like this, why can't we do it in a more creative way? So here I have come up with a new design. So let me just show you here when I click, it will show you something like this. The plant, I have drawn it and some icons and the text. You can see here, this is the title three or option three and four and five. So you can see the difference between this slide and this slide. So presentation matters a lot. So let's see how to do this in PowerPoint. Add a new slide and change the background to light gray color. Then go to view. You can enable the guides. Go to insert shapes under basic shapes. Select an oval shape. Draw the oval shape something like this. Shape outline. Make it no outline and right mouse click. Go to edit points and you can just click the top point just drag it inside you end up getting this shape and then i'll drag this also and then here also you can just do it so i'm going to make a kind of a leaf shape here you can see here some kind of a leaf shape it is So this one is done. I'll just reduce it and keep it aside. Then I'm going to insert shapes under basic shape, select this trapezoid, draw this trapezoid, shape outline, make it no outline and give some gray color and rotate. You can just say flip vertical, place it here or let me just increase the size and then I'm going to insert shapes select one rectangle draw the rectangle shape outline make it no outline so you can see here that rectangle and the width I can go make it 0 0.03 and then I'm going to put this here just rotate it and control D again rotate it something like this and then you can change the color of this and this color I'm going to make it like a brown one and if you want to give some 3d effect go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape something here and put it like this shape outline make it no outline and again you can give some brown color just align it properly and just select all and bring it one side so you can see here then i'm going to insert one oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key and put it here shape outline make it no outline and then i'm going to press ctrl d one more and reduce the size and put it exactly in the center and shape will make it white or you can select both this oval shape or circles align center align middle you got this one so this color also i'm going to select this pink and then right mouse click you can go to format shape and add some shadow effect if you want to increase the distance you can increase the distance also and if you have the icon you can go to insert icons 
and you can select any icon and you can add it there reduce the size and put it exactly in the center and then i'm going to select all of this press ctrl g to group it and reduce the size if you want you can give some shadow effect also in the bottom for that shapes select an oval shape say gradient fill i'm going to keep only two stops select radial and this one this one i'm going to give some black color and this will be a gray let me just change the direction and shape outline make it no outline and for this i'm going to make it fully transparent and you can go to effects and soft adjust also you can do it you can see here and then just place it here and say send to back so you can see here this shadow effect also created again group it Control d to duplicate add how many you want you can see here let me just align it properly so you can see here and then you can change the color or you can ch change the shape of the leaf also so let me just ungroup this right mouse click and group ungroup and then you can change the color of again let me just ungroup also so i can just change this color i can give some different color here for the leaf also the same color and then you can change the icon by inserting new icons there and if you want to change the shape of the leaf again right mouse click go to edit points and you can play with it something like this you can also make it so whichever design you like you can just change it and the next i'm going to add the the titles for this go to insert text box just say option one let me make it center align century gothic or any other font which you like to have it you can just change it give some gray color let me just select all and bring it more down so this is the option one and then i'm going to add some detailed text to it equals i'm just deleting some unwanted text again century gothic reduce the size give gray color center align or you can give a uh, justify and then i'm going to copy to all other later on you can just align it properly So you can see here now you can just change this option to two three four and five so let me just group this once again because i have ungroup it Control g to group it now let me just add some animation for that go to animations enable the animation pane select this first and just say fly in and then select this text fly in fly in from top and then this also 
fly in again this is also from top so this text should come at the same time with previous if i see if i play it comes something like this and then i will say this also with previous a little bit delay of 0.25 so it comes something like this then i'm going to select this click on the second one the text animation painter click on second select this so likewise you need to do for all one by one you cannot do it together so like this you can do it so for example if i play now it will show you something like this That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.